Cold Cold the Kid was kind of a paid vacation because it was so likably light. Great location, great people. I loved Doosan. I loved, I loved the cast. And uh, Greta was drop dead gorgeous. I mean, it was hard to be unhappy. Australia, Sydney, Australia. I loved that place. I loved it then. I love it in my memory. Uh, it was just a great place, great people. Dusan w w wanted me to be in his movie. So he, uh, he made it an offer, and I read it one time and said yes that day. I really liked it. It was an odd little tale. And, uh, and I had just made uh, The Pope of Greenwich Village. So I was trying to, to do something very different and show my range. So I had done Yostar 80 and Pope and this all in a row. And they're very different pieces. And I was tr trying to show I could do it all. At the time, though, nobody really cared. <laughs> I read the script, and when I love it, let's go. I'll be honest with you, it was all on the page, and the little quirky stuff I got from Dusan. Dusan Makaveev is a very detailed guy. Everything is a detail. And uh, he was a bit of a genius. I really enjoyed him. His love and respect was first and foremost for the artist. And then he went to his DP. Those those were his uh, his uh, his uh, his boyfriends on the set. Were, were his uh, his a star and his DP, and uh, and uh, he was very respectful. He was very kind. He was very gentle. He was also very funny. He was a bit silly, and uh, uh, I loved him every day. D Dusan also uh, to. His talent, he only shot what he needed. He didn't overshoot. And uh, our days were never long. They were always, always very civilized. And, and we made a good movie. Greta, Greta was lovely to work with. She was the most gorgeous creature I'd ever laid my eyes on at that point. I enjoyed her. She was sweet, she was beautiful. I, I had an apartment and uh, with a Big glass window as as uh, as big as a wall, overlooking the ocean, overlooking the bay, and uh, it was just it was it was movie star time, dude. It was really really special, and uh, I also I also realized for the first time, even though I had I had done a lot of traveling, I realized for the first time that that Americans are not as nice as we think we are. And Australians are. They're wonderful, they're approachable, they're ingratiating, they're sweet, they're polite, they're funny, they drink. Uh, but you know, we, we're kind of pompous and kind of in love with ourselves. And only shows when you see other people, you go, oh, that's what that was, oh yeah. But um, so uh, uh, they, kind of made me disappointed in my, in my own countrymen, Australians, because they were so approachably likable. There were lots of locations. It was, I don't think anything was shot on a set. It was, it was, all, it was, all, it was all locations. And uh, uh, he was very freeform. And we had a great, great DP, director of photography, Dean Semler, who, uh, as it were, you know, grew up to make, to, make, to make a bunch of American movies and be a director himself. Fantastic cat, and uh, really sweet, really soft-spoken. Took beautiful pictures, makes beautiful movies, and uh, he was he was he was a big help to Dusan. And Dusan, he would talk, and uh, they would they would decide things together. Dean Dean Semler is a gift. He's incredible. Mechanically, he's he's a genius, and artistically, he's gifted. He's got the whole package. Coca-Cola had, had to like everything. If they didn't like anything, we could not use their name. So everything had to go by them. And for some reason, they allowed it. <laughs> to this day, I'm shocked. Because it was not negative about Coke, but it was off-beaten kind of, what, <laughs> you know?